This is problem number 19 from the June 2015 Algebra Regents exam. The distance of a free-falling object has uh, the distance a free-falling object has traveled can be modeled by the equation d equals one half times a t squared, where a is the acceleration due to gravity, and t is the amount of time the object has fallen. Uh, what we need to do is find out what t is in terms of a and d. In other words, we need to manipulate this formula to isolate t. Um, a good starting point is to multiply both sides of the equation by 2, and by doing that, we'll be making that fraction disappear, kind of like that. So we'll end up getting 2d equals a t squared. Uh, next good thing to do would be to divide both sides by a, and that'll cause those to cancel out. Um, so we'll get 2d over a equals t squared. Now for the final step, to completely get t by itself, we have to get rid of the squared. Opposite of squaring a number is to square root it. So we're going to square root both sides. And then we'll end up getting that t is equal to the square root of 2d over a. And we can see that is option number 2. Alright, and that's all for this video. Thanks very much for visiting JD's Regents Preparation.